The fragrance that took 2023 by storm. <laughs> Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton. Oh my goodness. So this is a fragrance, as soon as people saw it online, the hype train began and the whistles were blowing. Look, here is a bottle. I have it in my hands. It's not mine. My friend Chris from the channel Casual Fragrances was kind enough to let me borrow it for review. I'm gonna be telling you all about this fragrance. Of course, I've been playing around with it for a while now. The notes, the longevity, comparisons, performance, all that good stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on the brand new Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton. This stuff is mint, citrus, dates, fig, rose, carrot seed, ambrette, a lot of interesting ingredients, basil in the heart as well. I wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of this type of fragrance content here on YouTube, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So. Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton. Of course, I love the brand. Meteor, Le Monsite, Afternoon Swim. I even reviewed City of Stars recently and Sir La Rue is one that I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. Pacific Chill, this stuff is amazing. This stuff is amazing. It is strong, it's charismatic, it has the citrus, the citron, the orange, the lemon, the basil, the mint. It has a lot of really interesting ingredients, the apricot, the carrot seed, the dates, the fig. It's a beautiful composition, perfect for the summertime. A lot of citrus and mint, if I can be honest with you. And the perfumer is Jacques Cavalle. He's also done Afternoon Swim, he's done Meteor. He's done a lot of fragrances for the brand Bulgari as well. Alberto Morias is a perfumer that does some of the signature fragrances from the line like Bulgari Man and Man in Black and Wood Essence and Roly Essence and whatever else he's done. But Jacques Cavalle does all of the high-end, high-tier fragrances from Bulgari. I'm so excited to give you my thoughts on Pacific Chill. Let's go ahead and start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So the opening of this fragrance is an explosion of citrus and mint. If you want a fragrance that will immediately put you in the mindset of summer, this is it. You're not gonna need to look around too much to find that holy grail fragrance as it were. This stuff smells like summertime in a bottle. And of course, Pacific Chill, you think of maybe being on the Pacific coast. I don't reside in California. I actually live on the Atlantic coast, if you will. I live in New Jersey, but I have been to California before, of course, and it just reminds me of enjoying the summer. You know, the sun is out in full force and the opening, the citrus, the lemon, the orange that is in here, the citron combined with the mint and that secondary herbal note of basil is really, really interesting. There's a couple of other ingredients in here that I also think work in tandem. And those ingredients are apricot, and then of course you also have black currant. Black currant can be a little musky, and I've smelled it in a lot of MFK fragrances, Maison Francis Kirk John, and it can certainly have a bit of a musky personality to it. And of course I've tried black currant oil and it smells, some people would say it smells like cat pee, but this stuff is so beautiful. The apricot is in here. Of course, fig is a fantasy note, so it's some fruity and lactonic ingredients coming together to give that vibe in the base, but it's really not strong at all. The apricot is, so you can smell the apricot, you can smell the citrus, you can smell the mint, the basil is really nice too. Ambret is very velvety, it has a musky personality. Some people also say it has a pear-like aroma. So you are gonna get this fruity personality from it, but it might not be 100% organic, but you are gonna get a fruity smell from it. And of course, you also have the carrot seeds that are in here, you have the rose, which is really, really mild. Most of what you're going to get from the DNA of this fragrance is the citrus and the mint. If you're prepared to smell an explosion of citrus and mint with a little bit of apricot, a little bit of some coriander, some fresh ingredients, you're gonna get something so special with this fragrance. Look, for me, this is, you're walking down the boardwalk, you're running errands in the summertime, maybe you're even going to the gym, you're looking for something very bright, invigorating, and energizing. Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton is the perfect fragrance for that. It's a no-brainer, right? Meteor is another one. 
but even Meteor can be a little bit more formal at times. It's casual and formal, but this one is just casual all the way in my opinion. The citrus, the mint, it also reminds me of maybe just sitting out, enjoying your garden. Maybe you're sitting on the balcony with a crisp, refreshing drink in your hand and you have all of these redolent aromas in the air. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance. Pacific Chill is one of the best fragrances that Louis Vuitton has ever manufactured. And that's kind of difficult to say because they have put out so many incredible fragrances and I've reviewed a number of them on my channel, but Pacific Chill is wonderful. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it's not the most unique fragrance. Citrus and mint is a combination that's been done so many times before. And of course, there's also Healy's Montfreche. There's so many mint-based fragrances. Aqua Decima by Eau de Tali is one of my favorites as well. But you know what? It works really well in this fragrance and I'm glad it has the apricot, the black currant, the other fruity ingredients in here. I think it's really interesting. The dates, you know, there's nothing really sweet about this. When I think of dates, I think of the one Royal Night by, not Royal Night, but there's another one by Dolce & Gabbana with the blue bottle. That one smells like dates, smoky, incense -y. This one, I'm not really getting a whole lot of sweetness from it, but I am getting a sweet fruity aroma from it. So I guess you can say that. So longevity is about seven hours, maybe six on a bad day. Projection was amazing for the first hour and a half of application. It radiated beyond an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour four and a skin scent right around hour six. In terms of the versatility, I think this stuff is very versatile, to be honest. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's a little bit more casual, perfectly unisex, great for the hotter weather. Anybody of any age can enjoy this one as well. And in terms of the presentation, the green bottle, the aesthetic, it kind of reminds me of, what was it called? Cactus Garden or something like that? That one I've tried before and that was interesting. I think it might be discontinued. Don't take my word for it. I'm gonna start some chaos, but my final verdict on this fragrance is it's a beautiful fragrance. It is one of the best that Louis Vuitton has manufactured. Will I be purchasing myself a bottle? Absolutely. I'm gonna be getting this one in the very near future because I love it, right? I know Louis Vuitton fragrances are kind of hard to find discounted, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna look in the Facebook groups. I'll see what I can do. But if worse comes to worse, then I'm just gonna go to Short Hills Mall here in Jersey, in uh, New Jersey, and I'm gonna buy myself a bottle of it because I do love this fragrance. Look, thank you so much for joining me today. I almost said enjoying the video. I don't know if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. If you took something of value from today's episode, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Drop your comment down below. What's your favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance? I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye.